Be... Oh, is it true that um, Destiny agreed to be a ring girl and that he's going to arrive in a Mercedes Benz so he can show <laughs> Tonka what that means? <laughs> no, no. I, well, maybe it is true. Well, well, How did you hear that? Put up 500 bucks is, yeah. you know, for a uh, part of the purse or whatever. Oh, oh yeah. well, I'll, I'll throw into the purse. I'll throw five. I'll match him. I'll match him. I'll throw 500 in the purse. All right. So oh, we got that. Damn. damn. Sure. All right, man. Straight up. There you go. Tonka. Some fucking motivation there. You need to like those berries, more super berries, right? There you go. Yeah, man. If, I'm if, fucking if, he, if he shows Andy, if, if I'm putting 500 in the purse and he shows up as some spooky, scary skeleton and he hasn't taken this seriously, I, I want you to fucking fracture something on him. <laughs> yeah, why my money's worth, Andy. If he shows up and he isn't prepared and he's been bullshitting for two and a half months, I want to hear him cry from the back seats in that fucking stadium. <laughs> I will, dude. I I make you that promise, dude. I make you that promise. Yeah. Um, so well, uh, was... let, let me just say, I don't think it's transmissible. I don't think he's gonna get a cocaine high from Andy. On him. <laughs> and I don't think I don't think Andy's legs are gonna stop working if Tonka bleeds on him. So I think you both are safe in this fucking instance. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I even said I'll get AIDS to fight you. I don't care. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Let's do this. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, this so, so basically, after that was, um, Vamp was saying people die. People die in in unsanctioned fights. In fact, like, e like even though his DMs or sorry, his Twitter posts was I'm ready to die or whatever. Like, but she says that so. He brings on Tara La Rosa, who just had on right before you, and she he ends up like bitching at her to like or I he's like I have a uh we call it a uh, a fight manager or something or a booker promoter I said but a fight promoter and then oh but it's gonna take some time and da 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 so she ended up within five minutes of being off his show a uh, booking the fight. For January 19th. Oh, no. See, now I saw that. And then I saw the follow-up to that where you challenged not only Donga, but AIU and then Tara herself. <laughs> yeah. And Joe Rogan later. <laughs> you do know she would rip you in half, right? Yeah. Like, have you seen her? <laughs> she would fucking destroy you, Andy. I know. I, 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 know. I, 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 was just, I tried I, to tell you. I was passionate. I was just passionate. But so, so I accept that that fight and then because I don't trust failure anymore. So he called me in the evening and was telling me about the, the entire fight, like what would happen. He told me, and I recorded this, that I wouldn't get flight hotel or anything. Like I have to pay for everything by myself and I couldn't promote it to get like a, a go fund me to help me do all that stuff. And then, so I brought this up the next day on our show and turns out he was fucking lying. He was trying to get me to be so upset, like pissed yeah, off. He, he made it sound like he was talking to the the same promoter that Tara was speaking to. And, and and he tried to make it sound so unappealing by saying, Oh, you don't have you don't have uh, streaming rights, uh, you know, nothing's gonna be paid for for you. Um, you know, you can't well, I mean, I, I have been debating whether I want to get a hold of Tim Loy and just be like, Can I buy the streaming rights myself for this one fight on your card? Just so I can make money off you two beating the shit out of each other, because I think that's a win for everybody, right? I'm down for that. I don't care. You can, yeah. Like I'm, I'm. I just want to fucking fight this dude, right? Like, and yeah. So basically, she came on after I yelled at her for about half an hour, and came on and said, "No, you get hotel, you get flight, you get this, you get that." And I'm like, "Oh, all right, cool." Then I started like. A, Go fund me, film my training, post that shit. Uh, she didn't help me get sponsors to put on my like shorts and shit, like all that stuff. So I'm like fucking sick. So that was the first time. And then he's like, fine, all right, I'll do it. And then he's saying he's like six two or whatever the fuck it is, and he's shredded. He's been training forever. Now he has an MMA team helping him um, to scare me. And then I'm down. I'm interested. I'm interested. And what was the next thing he did, geek, to scare me? Uh, I don't know. He's bullshitted so fucking much. I don't even, I can't even keep track of the amount of fucking stories this guy fucking spits out of his head. Oh, the terrorist line. So apparently he goes, I'll fight you. Okay. All right. Where do you want to meet me? Where do you want to meet me? His first excuse was, all right, you, uh, uh he's going to phone the police on me. That's what he's planning on doing. Gay ops. Holy fuck. Uh, destiny was on earlier. Actually, instead he'd actually call ice Poseidon 
to get that fucking shit in public sign like like he like he's done that before and get that on fucking on I sign a show or something. We have Perfect. so many he has so yeah. many options, so many options. Like what do you want? Like I'm down. And then oh and he's a terrorist now because I threatened him. I didn't threaten him, I accepted his challenge. The fuck? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I think the fight me in real life stuff is gay to begin with. But I mean, if you two boys are going to do it, I was hoping for Jacksonville. It would have been great to watch two people beat the shit out of each other <laughs> on Halloween with kids crying as they're collecting candy from the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, I think it's stupid, too. But I, I was like, fine, I'll fight you. I want to fucking throw him off that fucking wheelchair and beat the fuck out of him. Yes, I do. <laughs> what are you what are you Andy, what are you gonna do if he really does wheel in in a wheelchair and punches you in the deck? Like what's your what's your battle strategy? Beat the oh we actually showed a video about uh, a defense from people in wheelchairs. So <laughs> what, 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 destructive disables. Destructive disables, yeah. That's what, <laughs> what you're supposed to do is lock their wheelchair first and then you beat the fuck out of them. So I know that now. <laughs> if he is in a wheelchair, I'll still beat the fuck out of him. I swear. If he's got a cane, I'm swiping that off on the floor and stomping on his fucking face. I will beat up someone in a wheelchair, no problem. <laughs> uh, now, I've heard people speculate that he really has a legit neck injury, and then one good pop will cripple him for life. Are you going to make him a paraplegic, Andy? Yes. Yes, I will. That's the goal. That's we'll make like, memes into reality. <laughs> you know when you're playing a, a game and you're playing a mission? And then, like, there's always, like, the main mission, but then there's, like, bonus objectives. The main mission is beat the fuck out of him and win. The bonus objective is to make him actually have to leave in a wheelchair. So, like, so I might win, but I want that bonus point, you know? I want to fight someone in a wheelchair now just to see what it feels like, you know? I want to beat a cripple. Everybody <laughs> needs to watch this. I've never seen uh, Tonka on webcam. Like, I mean, I, I, everybody's seen like the wrestling clips and shit, but I've never been on cam with them. So I, I, I've heard the wheelchair meme. I, I don't know if it's legit or not. I don't know if he's hobbling around on uh, crutches or a cane, but we'll all find out on the 19th. What are you going to do if he shows up and he's like some six foot tall muscle bound motherfucker? What if he shows up and he's the opposite of what you're expecting? No, no, I, I'm, I don't care. I'll get my ass beat. I just want to fight. If I get, if I lose, I lose. If I win, I win. I want to fight. I might lose if he is what he says. He's trained for eight hours yesterday, apparently. Fucking lying sack of shit. But I'm training like he did train for. The more he's saying what he's doing, I'm training like he is saying the truth. I'm imagining he's 6'2". I'm imagining he's a shredded in 190. I'm a, a pounds. I'm, 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 I'm working towards him saying the truth. And if he does beat the fuck out of me because he's 6'2", shredded, and mad, fine. But let's just do it. Like, I'm down. All right. I'll take the fucking beating if I have to. But are you going to sell Are you gonna sell t-shirts? At, you, need to, you need to start smart marketing right now. After this fight, let's say you win, are you going to sell t-shirts that, said, uh, that says, I beat a crippled Indian? <laughs> and then yeah. shows, shows a crying Tonka, you know, like that old teardrop uh, uh, littering commercial they used to have? Yeah, yeah. And there's Tonka just... Weeping to himself. <laughs> Actually, I was thinking about, you know, the Christopher Columbus picture with his foot on the rock, but me with my foot on a broken wheelchair. You can only talk about IRL fights for so long until someone accepts. Actually, I don't know how, if you heard how it started where Geek said he would fight him and he's like, fine, I'll do it. And Geek's like, all right, let's set it up. And he goes, Actually, no, I want to fight Andy first. Right? So apparently he wants to fight Geek right after. It's like, like he'll have fun with so that how, how, how is that how is that gonna work you're gonna fight okay so you're gonna fight tonka and then after that tonka's gonna fight geek and you're gonna fight aiu off like yeah we'll, you didn't we'll accept recovery time and in and time to train again for for our fight and you know and i i don't want to fight him right afterwards because like i think originally he said something like that he's gonna whoop your ass and then come fight me i was like no i want to i want a fresh tonka i want a fresh one I don't want this. Oh, Geek only beat me because Andy wore me out. <laughs> so what What are the conditions for where you guys are going to be fighting? Are, are you doing it in North Carolina, where the fuck it is? Uh, uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. Yeah. Knoxville, Tennessee. So it just blood work then to make sure you guys don't have AIDS and shit? That's it. That's yeah. completely it. Yep. No, no physicals. None of the other bullshit. No MRIs. Just one blood test. You're both cleared. You're good. And no drug test. Phew. <laughs>
<laughs> you're lucky man. <laughs> <laughs> but he's the one who chose that, by the way. Like it was actually funny because when I was messaging her, she goes, "By the way, why did you cho- uh, choose Tennessee?" And I'm like, "What? I didn't choose that." She goes, "They all said that you picked Tennessee." And I'm like, oh shit, fucking Tonka. Meanwhile, Tonka has always said, oh, I've got a promoter in Tennessee. He, he, I think he said that back during the Zoom, the Zoom challenge, and and then an, another one, how how uh, he's got somebody in Tennessee he can use. Well, see, I'm I'm amazed because you know, I he, I think Tonka's delusional if he thinks this is going to come anywhere near a fraction of a percent of what uh, the viewership was for. Uh, what was it, Logan Paul and KSI and shit? Yeah. But, I mean, you will get viewers, and uh, the stream that hosts it will get Super Chats. Um, and you can even do, like, that ticketing feature or whatever they do on YouTube. So I, I, I'd be, you know, surprised because I, I heard, like, Lloyd didn't know how he was going to do the streaming. He didn't know kind of how he was going to have it set up, at least for this one particular fight outside of the normal stuff because you guys are fucking unranked amateurs. So in his mind, you're nothing. But at least for the YouTube audience, he probably could make a pretty fucking good dime uh, streaming that shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I I don't even care about the viewers or anything. Like if there's like like ten thousand or like I, I don't care. If there's three people watching, I'm down. Cause I'm just so fed up at this point that I just wanna fight them. That's why I said fine, you wanna fight on the fucking streets? Well, okay, I, I, yeah, I wanted I wanted it in the park, right? I, I was expecting like world star hip hop shit with cameras that aren't fucking properly oriented, but you know, at least yeah. we'd get something on Halloween. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, barbecue afterwards, have some grape soda. I th- I thought this would be <laughs> I thought this would be uh like because he was saying anytime anywhere like so I thought like but now he's making like he's the one who made it into this big event and then he was saying oh I don't want it streamed I didn't get like I didn't accept those and I'm like wait wait we're YouTubers that was the point that's the whole point of doing this you fucking idiot uh, uh the guy who's uh, promoting this is available after November second so that's when we'll do all the the deals and stuff. And so this is what uh, it's not going to be boxing then it's MMA or what is it? Yeah, yeah, MMA. You all right? So you got are you guys wearing your little your little helmets and shit or is this a big boy fight? Bare big, boy. big boy, just like, big it's boy. It's just like what sixteen ounce gloves, bare feet. Yeah. No. Are you gonna yeah. throw? Are you gonna taunt him in his wheelchair by throwing kicks? To yeah. Make him know he'll never have? Is that what your plan is? Actually, I was thinking about rolling up to the uh, the um, octagon um, in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna Willy Wonka that shit, are you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, roll out of it. <laughs> he just didn't expect Terra La Rosa to actually set this up as an official date, right? So yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, she, yeah. She was on that pretty quick, getting that all set up, and then you <laughs> told her to get her ass in the fucking kitchen and shut her mouth. <laughs> well, well, I, I think Terra fucked him. Uh, he thought I think Terra fucked him because he thought Terra was just going to come in and massage him and fucking and play up to his bullshit. And then she went, "Okay, well, I'll get this book." And he was like, "Fuck again! Somebody else called my fucking bluff." <laughs> You see, he doesn't really stop bluffing. Like it's really so now, are, now. Tonka's saying he's training, right? Yeah. The eight-hour days. Are you training? What What's your regiment? What are you doing? Calisthenics, uh, weightlifting. Are you boxing, shadow boxing? Like what are you What are you doing to prepare? I am actually doing MMA training, real MMA training. Like I, I'm, oh. I'm putting money in this. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to go too deep into what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, actual training, and my like it's. It's rough on the body, but um, yeah, it's so a lot of um, uh, what's it called? Cardio, obviously, uh, MMA training to learn all the moves, the groundwork, uh, striking. Um, I'm also le- learning like like boxing techniques as well, and yeah, a core. I'm working on the core a lot too, because <laughs> just I'm sorry, like in my head, I'm picturing him using like WWE moves or attempting to do them. <laughs> And then, like, your training is nothing but Coke benches and eating Dairy Queen. So, like, <laughs> you do, it's going to be fucking awful for 20 minutes in the ring. No, I I, I was, uh, I have to, like, stop smoking, not drink energy drinks. Uh, I, I bought an Arizona iced tea yesterday, and Geek was mad at me for doing that. He said, I have to, eat, I have to, I have to drink. It's got, it's got tons of I sugar I know, in it. but I'm, I, fucking I, 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 I dropped so many vices at the same time. Like, fine, okay. So I have to drink um, only Gatorade if I want like some sweet drinks. Uh, eating, I have to eat like I've been eating like, like way pro- like like proper and in between meals, protein shakes. Uh, yeah, I'm 
I'm working at it. I'm doing everything. I'm training like this is an actual, this like, like I'm fighting someone for real who's actually doing what he's saying he's doing. So yeah. Oh, now with the contracts that you're signing, can you? I'm wondering, could you put a little stipulation in there that the winner has to, or the loser has to give like a speech afterwards, where they acknowledge that they are the winner's bitch? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, like if Taka loses, he has to say, "I am Andy Worski's bitch." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> soy filled you, bitch. You, if you lose, you have to claim that uh, you are the bitch of the Donga tribe. <laughs> I will sign. Yeah, I will sign that. So it sounds like you two have been watching Karate Kid on repeat, where he keeps telling Johnny to sweep the legs. Like you want to go in there and fucking hurt each other. Yeah, well, no sweeping of the legs. It's gonna be fucking breaking his face. That's my goal. Break his fucking face. I'm gonna make sure that that his fucking what is it? His left eye that that's crossed, or his right eye that people say it's crossed. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix your eye, Tonka. You fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking make sure. <laughs> hit him so hard and fucking reorients his eyesight. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this is gonna be a fucking favor to you, you fuck. Oh, I- is it true that um, Destiny agreed to be your ring girl and that he's gonna arrive in a Mercedes Benz so he can show Tom <laughs> what that means? <laughs> no, no. I, well, maybe it is true. Well, well, how did you hear that? Uh, put up 500 bucks is, yeah. you know, for a uh, part of the purse or whatever. Oh, oh yeah. well, I'll, I'll throw into the purse. I'll throw five. I'll match him. I'll match him. I'll throw five hundred in the purse. All right, so oh, we got a thousand. Damn. Sure. All right, man. Straight up. There you go, Tonka. Some fucking motivation there. You need to, like those berries, more super berries, right? There you go. Yeah, man. If, I'm fucking if, if he if he shows Andy, if if I'm putting five hundred in the purse and he shows up as some spooky, scary skeleton, and he hasn't taken this seriously, I I want you to fucking fracture something on him. <laughs> yeah, why my money's worth, Andy. If he shows up and he isn't prepared and he's been bullshitting for two and a half months, I want to hear him cry from the back seats in that <laughs> stadium. I will, dude. I I make you that promise, dude. I make you that promise. Yeah.